Hi guys, yes, it's still your girl, you're welcome back to this channel. The academic staff renewal of universities, ASU, has extended the ongoing strike again by four weeks. President of the Union, Professor Emmanuel Oshodeke, disclosed this in a statement on Monday, August 1st, 2022. He said, the extension which takes immediate effect on August 1st, was to give the government enough time to resolve all outstanding issues with the lecturers. The statement reads, following extensive deliberations and taking cognizance of government past failures to abide by its own timelines in addressing issues raised in the 2020 federal government's stroke ASU Memorandum of Action MOA, NEC resolved that the strike be rolled over for four weeks to give government more time to satisfactorily resolve all the outstanding issues. The rollover strike action is with effect from 12.01 am on Monday, August 1, 2022. An emergency meeting of the National Executive Council of the Academy Staff Union of Universities, ASU, held at the Comrade Festus Ijayi National Secretariat, University of Abuja, Abuja, on Sunday, 31st July 2022. The meeting was called to review development since NEC resolution to extend its role over strike action by another 12 weeks with effect from May 2022. The NEC meeting took place against the backdrop of government obligation as spelled out in the Memorandum of Action MOA. It signed with ASU on 24 December 2020. Specifically, NEC recalled the government failure to conclude the process of renegotiating the 2009 federal government ASU agreement, deploy the university transparency and accountability solution, UTAS, pay outstanding areas of end academic allowance, EAA, release the agreed to sum of money for the revitalization of public universities, federal and states, address proliferation and governance issues in state university, set to promotion areas, declaration of the rollover strike on 14 February 2022. NEC reviewed with seriousness the recent directive given by the President and visitors to all federal universities that the Minister of Education, in consortium with other government officials, should resolve the Lincoln crisis and report to him within two weeks. The union wonders why it has taken five full months and needless muscle flexing for government to come to the realization of a need for honest engagement. NEC acknowledged the growing government understanding of the issues and the grounds role of support for the union's principal demand for globally competitive university education in Nigeria. Nigerian University must not be reduced to constituency projects that merely exist on paper and our scholars must be insensitive to stay back and do what they know best here in Nigeria. NEC appreciated the historic nationwide protest of 26th and 27th July 2022, organized by the Nigerian Labour Congress NLC in collaboration with civil society organization to further create awareness on the antics of the Nigerian ruling class to destroy public education. Also, renew its commitment to the struggles of NLC in championing the cause of the working and suffering Nigerians. NEC observed that non-signing of the draft negotiated 2009 federal government ASU agreement more than one month after it was concluded by Professor Nimi Briggs lead committee is further taxing the patience of ASU members nationwide. NEC further observed that the ongoing trial of a suspended accountant general of the federation 
HGF, Mr. Ahmed Idris. An allegation of monumental fraud was vindicted as a rejection of the integrated payroll and personal information. The National Information Technology Development Agency, NITA, is enjoyed to release a report of the latest test on the university transparency and accountability solution vis a vis IPs without further delay. ASU shall resist any attempt to truncate the deployment of UTAs with all legitimate means available to the union. NEC noted that cumulative indifference by the political class gave vent to a pervasive atmosphere of insecurity, which now threatened the seamless provision of educational services in the country. The unceremonious closure of educational institutions in the Federal Capital Territory FCT, following the recent attack on presidential guards, betrays a panicky measure to addressing a malignant ailment. Nothing short of a comprehensive overhaul of the security architecture of the country will sustainably address the problem. The Academic South Union of Universities ASU, the Nigerian Union of University Academic Staff, founded in 1978. ASU is an offshoot of the Nigerian Association of University Teachers, which was established in 1965. At that time, NAUT consisted of only five universities, in total including University of Ibadan, University of Nigeria Onsuka, Amadou Bello, University of Zaria, University of Ife, and University of Lagos. Professor Victor Emmanuel Oshodeke emerged as the body president on 30 May 2021. As a successor of the Nigerian Association of University Teachers, that was founded in 1965. ASU was formed in 1978 to cater for the interests of all academic staff in federal and state universities in Nigeria. All true, ASU consists of many universities. There are several other universities that are not under ASU as body. Those universities include Federal University located in Unsuka, Enugu State, Nigeria. Federal University of Ilori, also known as Unilori. Delta State University, Abraka, popularly known as Delso. The Union was active in struggle against the military regime during the 1980s. In 1988, the Union organized a national strike to obtain fair wages and university autonomy. As a result, the ASU was proscribed on 7 August 1988 and all its properties seized. It was allowed to resume in 1990, but after another strike was again banned on 23 August 1992. However, an agreement was reached on 3 September 1992 that made several of the union's demands, including the right of workers to collective bargaining. The ASU organized for the strike in 1994 and 1966, protesting against the dismissal of staff by the Sunni Abasha military regime. After the return to democracy in 1999 with the Nigerian Fourth Republic, the UNO continued to be firm in demanding the right of university workers against opposition by the government of President Olusegun Obasanjo. In July 2002, Dr. Oladik Bufashina, the then national president of the union, Petition Justice Mustafa Akombi of the Independent Corrupt Practices Commission to investigate the authorities of the University of Illori for financial mismanagement and corruption. In 2007, the ASU went on strike for three months. In May 2008, it held to one week morning strike to press a range of demands, including an approved salary scheme and restatement of 49 lecturers who were dismissed many years earlier. In June 2009, ASU ordered its members in federal and state universities nationwide 
to proceed on an ended fire strike over the agreement by the federal government, an agreement it reached with the union about two and a half years earlier. Well, guys, there you have it. Also, extend strike again by four weeks. Thank you all for listening to that, and please don't forget to like, subscribe, and drop your comments in the comment section below. Thank you. Bye.